your hands for the Lord tonight. Amen. Come on, clap for the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. Clap for the Lord. Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the 180. How many of you are blessed to be here tonight? Amen. If you are blessed, lift up your voice and say it. Amen. Hallelujah. God is indeed in here tonight. He's in this house. The presence of the Lord has filled all over this place. I see the atmosphere of the Lord in this place. And I don't know about you. You need to tap into the anointing of this house tonight. Amen. How many of you are blessed to be here tonight? It was amazing, wasn't it? God is truly amazing and he's truly at work. Amen, amen, amen. Well, again, God bless you. It is great to come into your homes tonight. Those of us that are watching us online, we want to thank you. And we hope that you will stay connected with us throughout this month and the one to come. Amen. You can follow us on our Instagram pages. You can also follow us on YouTube. And you can also watch our messages and our services. Amen. And God is indeed doing something amazing here at 180. If you believe it, shout amen. Amen. The devil's a liar. <laughs> amen. Tonight, I would like you to repeat after me. If you have your Bibles, raise it up. How many of you brought your phones that have your Bibles on it? I would like to share a little word with you before we leave tonight. Amen. So if you have your Bible, raise it up with me and say it after me. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today or tonight, I'll be taught the word of the Lord. Tonight, I'll be taught the word of the Lord. And I boldly confess, my mind is alert, my heart is receptive, I will never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Tell your neighbor you look amazing tonight. I am glad you came. Come on, give them a high five, amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Tonight, I would like to talk to you about the God who goes before you. How many of us know that God goes before us in every situation of our life? Amen? The God who goes before you. See, we all face situations where we don't see a way out. The obstacles look too big. We've had this problem for so long that our dream of coming out of it seem impossible. How many of us can relate to that? That the obstacles look so big that our dream of coming out of that situation looked impossible. This is the way the Israelite felt. They were headed towards the promised land. 
that God promised them. They had all kinds of people coming against them from every direction. Opposition from every direction were trying their best to take them out. They felt overwhelmed. They felt overwhelmed. They felt inadequate, outnumbered, and they knew that they had no chance at all. They knew they had no chance. But God said to them in Isaiah 45 2, and I read, if you have that, you can put on the board, Isaiah 45 2. God said, I will go before you and level the mountains. I will break the gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. Verse 45.3 says, So that you will know that the Lord your God, the one who summons you by name, the Lord your God, the one who summons you by name, have your back. Amen. See, you may have big obstacles in your past, situations in your health, situations in your finances, in your relationship, you don't see a way out, and the odds are against you. But God is saying to you tonight what he said to them. I will go before you and level the mountains. How many of you believe that? That the Lord will go before us and level the mountains. And he says, I will break the gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. Whatever is trying to stop you, a mountain of sickness, a mountain of addiction, a mountain of depression, it may look like a dead end. But remember, that mountain has no match for our God. Amen. It may look like a dead end, but it has no match for our God. One touch of his favor, and he would turn that mountain into a level ground. That means you wouldn't have to climb over that mountain. That means you wouldn't have to what? Climb over that mountain. That means it's going to get easy. It's going to get easier. Amen. Think. The devil is against me tonight. We bind that in Jesus' name. Amen. You're not going to struggle, work, worry, or fight. God will smooth that path all out for you. Amen. It may be a mountain now. I want you to know that it may be a mountain now. It may look intimidating, but don't worry. It's about to become a level ground. God is about to level it down for you. Amen. If you believe it, shout amen. In the scripture, the word used for God's power in the original language is dunamis. That's what we get our word dynamite from. And you know what dynamite does? It brings down what? Buildings. It clears out anything that is in its path. Obstacles in your life. Those mountains that has been holding you back. I can see it right now. God putting that dynamite into leveling your, your ground. Amen. I can see God putting that dynamite leveling your path. If you believe it, shout amen. See, you've been faithful. You've given. You've served. Get ready for some explosion. God's about to level your ground. Amen. God's about to level your ground. An explosion of healing. An explosion of freedom. An explosion of wealth. Many of you are about to receive an explosion of what? Wealth. Those obstacles that has held you back are about to be blown away. God says, I will level your mountain. He says, I will not make a tunnel through them. I will not make a path through them. I will not give you the strength to go around them. God said, I will not give you the strength to go around them. God's going to do something unusual, something out of the ordinary. The scripture says, so you will know that he is the Lord God Almighty. Amen. So you will know that he is God all powerful. He's going to do something in your life where you, you have no doubt that it was God. You will not only know but people around you, people in your circle will know that it was God. Amen. When God parted the Red Sea, the Israelite went through it on a dry ground. Pharaoh and all his house, 
and all his men knew it was God. When Lazarus was raised from the dead, everywhere he went, people stood in awe of the power of God. God wants to give you some evidence. Tell someone God wants to give me some evidence. God wants to give you some evidence. Something that you can't dispute. You can't dispute it at all. Something that you just cannot dispute. You couldn't have made it. You didn't have the talent. The medical report says you're not going to make it. Many of you, the medical report says you will make it. Some of you come from a long line of addiction and you feel like you're next. Many of, you, many of us feel like we're next because of our past generation, their sins. But the Lord who called you by name, he went ahead of you and leveled your mountains. God went ahead of you and leveled your mountains. Now everyone can look at you and see the blessing of God on your life. If you believe it, shout amen. God wants to make you an example of his goodness. God wants to make you what? An example of his goodness. You may have seen your, his favor in the past. But get ready, you haven't seen anything yet. God has some an explosive blessing that's going to catapult you into your next level. It's good to remember the great things that the Lord has done for us. It is amazing to remember the past, but God doesn't want you to live on past evidence. Tell someone God does not want me to live on past evidence. Always talking about how great you were when you were growing up. Always talking about how awesome you were, your glory days. God does not want you to live on past evidence. That's all fine, but he's about to give you something new to talk about. He's about to give you some fresh evidence. God's about to give me some what? Fresh evidence. That means things that has held you back for years, addiction, lack, depression, insecurities. This may be your, in your family line or your, your, in your generation, but it's certainly not your destiny. Amen. Remember, your thoughts will tell you, just accept it. That's who you are. God is saying, I'm about to break that generation curse. I'm about to put an end to that curse. Amen. God's saying, I'm about to put an end to that, to whatever has held you back. The de that depression is not staying in your family line. That addiction is not staying in your family line. That struggle, that lack is not your destiny. That lack is not your destiny. That struggle is definitely not your destiny. This is a new day. The God who spoke worlds into existence is breaking change. If you believe this, shout out, amen. The God who spoke world into existence is breaking chains. You're stepping into new seasons. You're going to have new strength like you never had. Things are going to fall into place. God is making things happen that you couldn't make happen. God who goes before you. The God who goes before you is breaking chains. This is your year of yes. Yes to your healing. Yes to any demonic hold over your life. Yes to the right people God has in store for you. If you believe it, shout amen. Yes to seeing new doors open. Joshua chapter 24. The Israelites were going, through, were going against seven nations that was bigger and stronger. They had more equipment and more training. The Israelite on their own didn't have a chance. They couldn't have, you know, they could have retreated and say, this is not meant to be. We will never take this land. This is not for us. There was no way in the natural, but God's ways are not our ways. There was no way for them to take the land that God has promised them, the land of milk and honey. But God's ways are not our ways. He said to them in verse 12, I will send hornets ahead of you to drive them out of the land. You wouldn't have to do anything in your own words. Amen. If you believe it, say amen. 
He says, I will give you the land you didn't work for, the cities that you didn't have to build. God said, I'll give you lands that you didn't work for and cities that you didn't build. God wants to give you lands you didn't work for. God wants to give you cities you didn't have to build. God wants to give you wealth. God wants to give you riches. Amen. How did God get rid of these seven powerful nations? Did he send in tanks? Did he send in the Navy, the Marines? Did God call down angels to come? Or did he tell Angel Michael to come and deal with the situation and break the chains of bronze? No, he sent insect. He sent hornets ahead of them so they didn't have to fight. God has ways to do things you never thought of. God has ways to do things that you just never thought of. Amen. He may not do it in traditional manner. Quit trying to figure it out. Many of us always trying to figure what God is about to do next. Quit trying to figure it out. Quit trying to figure everything about God. Remember, he is in control. The God who goes before you is in control of your life. Amen. And he knows how to get you to where you're supposed to be. God knows how to get you to where you're supposed to be. If God showed all that he has in store for you, many of us will say, God, that's not for me. Many of us will say, no, God, I can't do this. You will tell God, I don't have the training. God, I don't have the talent. This is certainly not for me. But the God who goes before you is going to give you lands that you didn't have to work for. If you believe it, shout amen. If you believe it, shout amen. Amen. Glory be to God. The Orthodox Church, the Macedonian Church that were here before us, were in this building for 30 years. In 2013, they wanted to move out. They wanted to move out of this building and build a new church. The members would have to pay for most of the construction. The members of that church that was in here had to pay for most of that construction. So they had to put it up for a vote, and the members voted no. They didn't want to pay, so the church couldn't move out. And that was in 2013. Two years later, it was put on for a ballot again. This time, the members voted yes. The Orthodox Macedonian Church was cleared to move, and they built their new church. And what's interesting is that if they voted, if the vote was passed the first time, if the ballot that they wanted to pass was passed the first time, Dominion Miracle Center, our Our main church wouldn't have been ready for this facility. DMC has just lost its building. We have just lost the building that God gave us. We were working through changes, trying to keep the church together, not sure what's going to happen. I believe God put this building on hold, caused it not to pass because he knew it was supposed to be ours. Amen. Amen. If it had gone through it the first time, most likely some developer, some builder would have took it. There would have probably been a car dealership in here or a mechanic shop. And we wouldn't be here. But two years later, after things settled, God gave us a facility we didn't have to build. God wants to give you cities and land that you didn't have to build. The God who goes before you. Tonight, if you didn't hear anything about my message, I want you to know that God wants to give you cities that you didn't have to build. And he wants you to know that he's the God that goes before you. You should lean on him, trust in him, trust and obey. For there's what? No other way to be what? Happy in Jesus. The God who goes before you knows all your needs, knows whatever you are lacking, knows everything that you need. And therefore, tonight, if you're there and you Hello. Hello. When I say hello, you say hi. Hello. Amen. That means you're alert. 
Let us all stand. Let us all stand. Father, we just want to thank you. Let us all stand and lift our voices up into heaven. We're going to pray. We're going to ask that God will go before us in our every day of work, in our day-to-day life, and whatever we do, we will not lean on our own understanding, but we will trust and obey the Lord. Amen. So let's lift up our voice. Where are the musicians? They've gone to heaven. Musicians, are you here? Please, if you're here, come up. Let us lift up our voice and pray. Father, we just want to thank you. I want to lift up your voice and pray unto the Lord, cry unto God. Father, we just want to thank you that you're going to open windows of heaven for us and cause showers of blessings upon this place. Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you. O King of glory, we thank you. Father, 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 cause windows of showers of blessing to be upon this place. Cause showers of blessing to be upon this place. Cause showers of blessing to be upon this place. Hallelujah.